Hello YouTube, today we're going to be doing a circuit problem, so let's get on into it. We're going to be finding the total current and the voltage across two specific resistors given this circuit. So um, the method that we're going to use, there's a lot of ways you can do this, um, is we're going to use Kirchhoff's loop rule. So this is what we're looking for, and we notice that the total current um, that is divided because there's a portion of this circuit that's in parallel. So you notice that current will go down um, towards R2 and also towards R3. So the current will be divided. So you can define the total current as the sum of the two currents that split apart. And that's what we're going to be needing in order to find the total current. So using the loop rule, we'll make two loops that are um, in the circuit, circuit here. So we'll do this inner loop on the left side. We'll define it as loop 1. And we'll do this loop on the right-hand side as loop 2. And so what we're going to do is that around each loop, the voltage drop should be zero. So what we're going to do is we're going to take the voltage. So we're going to start from the battery there and we're going to subtract the voltage coming in or that's across R1. So that would be the total current because the total current's flowing through it times R1. Remember V equals IR. So that's why we're subtracting the voltage there. Um, then we're going to go down, and we notice that I1 is going to go through R2, and we're going to subtract that, um, and that's the voltage drop there. And then finally, keep following the rest of that loop, and we notice that we'll see um, R5 coming up, right? But it's going to be the total current. Why the total current? Because when I1 and I2, at that node there at the bottom or that joint, um, the current will all come sum up from that second loop. So if you follow I2, notice how it's going to hit... Um, where I1 would travel at the same time and become the total current. Um, and then that is zero. And then what is IT? So you just, um, since we defined it as I1 plus I2, uh, you simply put that in there, and then you do the same thing for the I total over there. Now we set up our equation, simply plug in the numbers. Um, this is just a long mathematic uh, arithmetic process. So we're just going to kind of plug the numbers in. So R1 is 20, for example, R2 is 30. So we keep going, and finally we get our first equation um, by combining like terms. So now we have one equation. Let's see if we can find the, or let's set up an equation for the second loop. So second loop, we have um, 30I2 because the current is passing through I2, and um, then we have uh, going through 30I4, or excuse me, R4, which is 30, times I2 because the current's still going through, minus uh, the voltage drop at uh, R2, which is 30 uh, minus I1, because it's a minus sign, because notice how the current is flowing uh, clockwise, but in I1, it's actually opposing that loop that we just decided that current's going to be going, so we're subtracting, because I1's going down, while the loop shows the current flowing upward. So that's kind of the sign that's there. Simply combine like terms, and boom, we have our second equation. So... Just to be clear here, I guess I'll write what I'm trying to say uh, back here. So notice I1 is going to come through here. If you follow this loop for I2, I2 is going to come through here, and that's going to combine to make your I total, and that's going to be going this way, which is why um, that part um, was done there. Again, we decided current was flowing this way. So I1 was flowing downward, which is opposing this direction here. So that means we have this negative sign there. So that's just to be clear for you all. Um, so now we have our two equations. We have our first one and our second one for loop one and loop two. And you can simply solve, you know, a basic system of equations. You can also use matrix form um, by simply using the coefficients, multiply by the variables, and use matrix multiplication. And, you know, do AX equals B and solve for X. Um, but either way, you do that. And I'm not going to show it the steps I do it because it's, it's something you should know how to do. Um, but you should get the I1 to be 0.04 amps and I2 to be 0.02 amps. So remember we defined our total current to be I1 plus I2. So then we find our total uh, current, which is 0.06 amps. Awesome. We got IT. Now we're supposed to be looking for V2 and V4. So remember, we can do that by using Ohm's Law, which is V equals IR. And then we can show um, from the numbers that we have, we have our I1 down there and our I2. 
And then we're looking for the voltage drop across those uh, resistors there, which I highlighted below. So remember V2, what do we got going through? We got I1, which is at 0.04 amps, times R2, which is the 30 ohms. And then boom, we get V2, 1.2 volts. Next, we got our voltage across R4. So what current's going through there? Well, that would be I2, which is 0.02 amps, times uh, the resistance, which is 30. So you simply multiply those two together, and boom, you got 0.6 volts. And look, we solved for everything that the problem asked for. So hope this was a good problem to kind of get you thinking about circuits and using Kirchhoff's, Kirchhoff's loop rule. I still got to figure out which is the right pronunciation. Anyway, um, hope... You enjoyed the video. I'm sorry, I got cut again. I was in like an inspirational like. Thanks for you know watching, and I hope you enjoyed it. So uh, keep practicing, everybody.